A virtual image is formed 18 and a half centimeters from a concave mirror having a radius of curvature of 39 centimeters. Find the position of the object centimeters in front of the mirror and what is the magnification of the mirror? So it gives me the position of the image, so it gives me Q and it tells me the radius of curvature R so I have Q and R, I just use my mirror equation, 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 2 over R and I want to isolate, I want to find where uh, how, where the object was, so I want to isolate uh, my term with the P in it so 1 over P equals 2 over R minus 1 over Q and then I'll, I'll find the common denominator for this side of the equation so I'll multiply this side by Q over Q so I multiply it by 1 and then I multiply this side by R over R so that's basically multiplying by 1 so it doesn't change the value so 1 over P equals 2Q over QR minus R over QR so I can combine these terms now since they have a common denominator so 2Q minus R over QR and now I want to take the inverse of both sides it's easy because I only have one fraction so P is equal to Q times R over 2Q minus R now before we go in and plug in any numbers let's go back and look at the question again it says a virtual if you look at it it says a virtual image is formed that means the image is formed uh, if it's if it's a concave mirror that means the image is formed behind the mirror the, the light's striking here but it appears that the image is coming from back here uh, so this means that Q is not 18.5 it's negative 18.5 and so we gotta remember that when you plug in Q so you have negative 18.5 uh, times times 39 for my radius divide it by 2 times negative 18.5 minus 39 so what you'll get, you'll get a negative on the bottom and a negative on the top. Don't try to cancel out your negative yet because you can't just yet. Uh, so what you do is you'll get negative 37 minus 39. So that's negative 76, I think. So negative 76. Uh, and then you can cancel out your negatives because you got two negatives. That's going to make them positive. Conversely, if you try to cancel out the negatives here, you got to cancel out both of the negatives at the same time. And so you end up adding instead of subtracting. So you should get that P, uh, P is equal to 9.49 centimeters. And then it wants the magnification. So magnification equation, H prime over H, the height of the image divided by the height of the object, which is also geometrically equal to negative Q over P. Remember, my Q is already negative, so that's going to become positive, and I'll get a magnification of 1.948. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video, and on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter, and you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.